People want to know how Ethereum can reach these astronomical levels of 20, 30, 50,000 and more. And it has a lot to do with the fact that it is one of the most important protocols in the world already. And yet, there are so many huge upgrades and improvements coming to the Ethereum network in the near future. Today, we're going to drop some secret alpha here about an upgrade that almost no one is talking about, but already shows the aggressive pace in which Ethereum is upgrading and growing. And it lays the narrative that as we push towards Ethereum 2.0, proof of stake, and all of the amazing changes coming within the next 12 months to the Ethereum network, that there's a real bull case here that this could become the king of crypto. If you guys are excited for this one, destroy that like button. Remember, each and every comment on this video is entered to win your own hardware wallet. As always, if you want to make the most money in this market, we're not just here to make you two and five X's, but I'm here to help empower you with knowledge that can help you get ahead of trends one, two, two, three years in the future. That's how you make astronomical wealth in this industry, is by predicting the future by a few months, a few years. That's how you make astronomical wealth in crypto. So smash that like button and let's talk about the serious bull case here for Ethereum. Ethereum is without a doubt the most important smart contracts, the first smart contracts blockchain here in crypto. For those new to crypto, smart contracts are those things that allow us to build applications. See, Bitcoin just sends coins from one wallet to another. I have one, you have three, you have 0.1, whatever it might be, it's just a transfer of essential value. It's just one number on a spreadsheet being transferred to another column. Whereas with Ethereum, you have the ability to code complex applications and pretty much recreate anything you see in Web 2.0, in Web 3.0. The problem is that Ethereum was built in the age of Bitcoin and uses very similar consensus mechanisms, a proof of work blockchain. So it has high gas fees, slow transaction speeds, and it has these front running issues where as I put transactions out into the network, other malicious actors can see those and potentially take advantage of them. I'm not gonna explain everything about front running, but just know there are a lot of significant flaws here with Ethereum. And that has opened up a huge sea of competitors from Cardano to Solana to Binance Smart Chain, Polkadot, Avalanche, Phantom, the list goes on and on and on. There's been a lot of talk about Ethereum layer two networks like Polygon, like Immutable X, Arbitrum, Optimism. The reality is, is that nothing will make as big of a difference to the entire cryptocurrency as a scalable Ethereum mainnet. Everyone I talk to wishes they could just build on ETH mainnet. But because of these limitations right here, they often get driven to other chains. So today we're going to be talking about the bull case here for all of the insane upgrades coming to Ethereum. So let's talk about all of these upgrades and how Ethereum is resolving these core issues. Before going into some very eloquent new solutions coming to Ethereum, we want to take a look at the broader picture. First of all, we see institutional investors' interest in Ethereum is increasing. First, they will all buy Bitcoin, the institutional big money bags. Then they'll buy Ethereum. Then they'll go down the rabbit hole and start experimenting with all kinds of altcoins. This is the path. This is the way. You must understand that on the scale of trust, it goes Bitcoin, then Ethereum right after. And there is a wall of money, a tsunami of money looking to come into Ethereum because compared to Bitcoin, it's actually the currency of Web3. It's where NFTs are happening. It's where DeFi was created. All of the most important innovations, they are founded, seeded, and firmly rooted on Ethereum. They also had this amazing change to their policy a few months ago called EIP-1559, which essentially burnt Ethereum with every transaction. Now that means that Ethereum is on path to become a deflationary asset, not just like Bitcoin, which is hard capped and eventually will not be inflationary anymore. We have actually Ethereum, which is deflationary with ETH being burned with all of the activity on the network. And that's a lot. Now, the big kahuna here is that some point in 2022, we will move from proof of work to proof of stake with Ethereum, meaning that instead of having miners run the Ethereum network, we're actually going to have stakers run the network. This is how Cardano works. This is how many, many proof of stake blockchains work, and there are many studies showing it is just as secure as proof of work. Now, the difference is that proof of stake uses way less electricity. It's way faster. It can be a much higher throughput blockchain. So over the course of the next 12 months, we're not just having this change in monetary policy that happened in the summertime. We're actually going to be having a ton of little upgrades as we push towards this proof of stake move. This is the biggest change to Ethereum that has ever happened. And the move towards Ethereum proof of stake will be a front running of one of the biggest changes to the entire blockchain industry. And it's important that you understand this. 
And as proof that Ethereum is not sitting on its laurels and just waiting for this, let's dig into an Ethereum improvement proposal submitted by Vitalik himself to introduce something called ERC-4337. Now that might sound like a mouthful. What you need to know is that ERCs are essentially Ethereum token standards. ERC-20s, for example, are how we actually create altcoins. Almost all the altcoins are on Ethereum and they are ERC-20s. So ERC-447 is actually an attempt to create a new type of account. Now, first, you must understand that there are two types of accounts on Ethereum. There are external accounts. These are your you know, typical wallets. And then there are contract accounts. And these are the ones that exist within the Ethereum virtual machine or smart contracts. There are two issues here. Wallets suck to use, and everybody knows that. And they have been one of the biggest issues. We see people complaining here because Ledger and MetaMask have been essentially non-functional since EIP-1559 this summer. It's been impossible to connect to most sites and use my Ledger to actually make transactions. The second thing is that private keys are often lost. And once a private key is lost, you can never recover the funds inside an Ethereum wallet. This is not a good feature. This is a bug, not a feature. Even though some people are happy about it because that means that coins are lost and that it diminishes the supply of coins over time, let's be real. If somebody said, ooh, you lost your ID, you can't get access to your bank account anymore, that wouldn't be a system that everybody wants to adopt. In reality, we need a better system. So Vitalik has proposed something called ERC-4337, which is a solution for account abstraction. This means that instead of there being two accounts, there'll only be one account that is able to complete both the coin and contract transaction. With ERC-4337, users will be able to assign three or more guardians, family, friends, custodians, to other devices, etc., as a second layer of protection. If a wallet key is lost, a user can reach out to their guardian network and have them sign a transaction that will create another key. Therefore, allowing wallet to be recovered. This is a huge step forward, allowing for people to have a social layer of backup on their funds. Of course, this also presents the human issue that if those people were to somehow want to access your funds without you, then you'd have to be able to trust these people. There's also a host of other things that are slight benefits here. We're not going to go through them all, but it's important that you realize that these are all big benefits to functionality and of course, account recovery. So as Ethereum gears up here to make new all-time highs at the tail end of October, just like we promised you it would right after the Bitcoin ETF that we predicted was approved. Yes, it's been a lot, a wave, a tidal wave of accurate predictions from the NFT wave this summer that we told you guys to take liquidity to get ready for this October move. Well, this has been one of the best streaks of trading this channel has ever experienced. And so if you guys want to benefit from learning about things months and months in advance that can bring 100x gains like many of the NFT projects we called early in May and June and July, then all you have to do is subscribe and put that bell notification on because we're bringing you the best information in the space. And if you want a path that you can understand how Ethereum can 10x from here, well, guess what? This is it incredible technological improvements, institutional FOMO into crypto, the world pivoting into blockchain technology as we've seen with Facebook's metaverse project. It's all going to send incredible amounts of liquidity and excitement, new attention and users into the Ethereum, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrency networks. And that's how Ethereum continues to be one of the best stores of value. And of course, as we move towards proof of stake, there could be astronomical growth on the horizon. So there you have it, Ethereum ERC-4337. In addition to the EIP-1559 earlier this year, which had a huge impact on Ethereum price, as we push towards proof of stake and Ethereum 2.0 next year, and we are in the thick of it, Q4 the year after the halving, the most bullish historical period in cryptocurrency, it feels as though the stars are aligned for a massive Ethereum pump and seeing it make its way up, not only to prior all-time highs, but a $10,000 price point, I see Ethereum peaking at at least $20,000 this cycle. That's my personal prediction. That could happen anytime from October to March next year. We don't really know exactly the timing on the cycle peak, but I believe Ethereum will be a healthy five-digit coin by the time that happens. What you need to know is that the future is very bright for Ethereum. And then if they continue to grow and innovate and make their protocol better, they will continue to be the darling of DeFi, NFTs, and the world's most innovative projects will find a home there. Let me know in the comments section, are you a big believer in Ethereum as well? Do you see the potential here in the way they're upgrading their protocol and the proof of stake merge that will make this a higher throughput, higher transaction volume, lower fee environment that is hospitable to way more types of applications. Let me know in the comment section below. Of course, if you want more videos like this, I highly encourage you that you subscribe. We're actually going to be covering a ton of lower cap altcoins, the types of coins that can 
can go 10x, 50x, 100x, and more. So if you wanna be made aware of those types of opportunities, make sure you subscribe and put that bell notification on. The team here is dedicated to bringing you the best information in the space, and we continue to do so on a daily basis. If you wanna follow me on Twitter at Elio Trades, the link is in the description. And I'll see you very soon on the next episode.